welcome to another edition of Anderson's Presents Three Questions with Mary. And tonight we are here with author and illustrator Sarah Varon, uh, who's here for an event uh, to talk about her new book, Sarah Varon, New Shoes. So uh, as long as you're here, do you mind if I ask you three questions? No, go ahead. Fabulous. So the first one, uh, you have done quite a number of graphic novels and storybooks. What is the main difference between illustrating a storybook and uh, writing a graphic novel? Um, well, I don't think there really is a difference, except for the page length. Um, to me, they're kind of the same. Uh, but what I like about uh, doing a graphic novel, I prefer graphic novels because I think you have much more time. Like You can create a whole world and you can go off on tangents. And picture books, you really just have to it has to be as minimal as possible so you don't have time to like explore this friend's hobbies or whatever or, like make little jokes you kind of just like have to get the story across that's so, very interesting in I my had, opinion i had not thought about it like that but i, I can see that being the case uh, so for your latest book new shoes you went to guyana to research and what was the most memorable experience you had there um well, I can't think of one thing, um, but I love to travel, uh, and I go to visit my husband's family. My husband is off camera, about a few feet away, and uh, I like to see the animals. Um, I love traveling around the country. Um, it's a really cool place. Uh, it's super um, unpopulated, and there's like an amazing rainforest, and there's really great animals and like amazing plants, and there's really good food, and the people are really nice. I guess that's a lot of things. It is a lot of things. That's, that's a lot of fun, is what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah. Cool. It's super different than just like the opposite of Brooklyn. I, I would imagine. Yeah. I would imagine so. And what would you say, I, as a bookseller, I have a lot of parents who come in and they'll look at me and they'll say, you know, all my child wants to read is graphic novels. And they say it like that, graphic novels. And I'd like him to read a real book. And oh, I so counter, sad. it is, I counter all the time with, you know, they... Anything with words on a page is a book, and anything you can get a child to read, in my mind, is a victory. Um, but what would you say as an author of graphic novels? Um, I think there's a lot of ways to tell a story. I think you can tell a story with pictures, and, or you could tell a story with words or, you, or a combination. Um, I think some people are maybe understand pictures better than words um, or whatever. Is you know, I think for me it's a little more natural to tell a story with pictures, which is still telling a story um and i also think we are becoming more like information through pictures is becoming more important like it's becoming more much more important than it was when i was a kid so i think it's important to be able to read pictures and figure out what's going on from looking at stuff um especially if you're a young person growing up today so that's that's a wonderful argument for us to use as well yes. when we're graphic novels. pushing the graphic yeah. novels so thanks so much for joining us for three questions we will have autographed copies of all of Sarah's books available at all of our Anderson's locations, and thanks for joining us.